Hello and welcome to the Love of Play. I am Derek Smith and we're playing, well, I think you all know what game this is. Uh, I think it's time. It's been enough time in between a Skyrim binge. I'm ready to do it again. I've probably made seven characters in my life, leveled them all pretty high, but we're going to start fresh. And the awesome thing about Skyrim is that you can play it how you want. It gives you the tools. So we're going to play Skyrim a little bit differently. Uh, the first thing that's going to be different is I've installed probably 60 mods. I don't even remember which ones they are. So we just might see some crazy stuff. Uh, but I'm game, if you are. Uh, I, I, including we're going to begin the game uh, a little differently. Uh, we're gonna pick our character, we're gonna make our character here, which is gonna be great. Uh, and then we're gonna be dropped into a random scenario based on the class we choose, which is a lot different than how you normally play the game, but we've seen that intro like a thousand times, so we don't need to, uh, watch it again. So the big question is, what race are we gonna be? And I have a bit of an infatuation with the orcs in Elder Scrolls. I think they're awesome. Uh, so I think, yeah, I think we're going to just work it up. Uh, I'm so glad you guys can join me for Skyrim. This is like the best game to do a Let's Play of because it's just pure exploration. The only Bethesda could, oh, should we be an orc lady? No. Well, let's make him a young orc. He's like trying to prove himself so he can't so he went to Skyrim from High Rock I think that's what we're going to do just a little bit younger we'll make him a little bit slimmer build here he doesn't need dirt why does he need dirt he just needs scars he's gonna get scars let's just make him new clean slate this is a clean slate character nose type I don't that's fine uh, I, I don't really care. Too many things. Let's give him those uh, kind of eyes that make him look like he hasn't seen much yet. Kind of starry, starry-eyed orc. There we go. Kind of has eyes like mine now. Uh, okay, that's fine. Brows, fine. Actually, there. Yes, he's very young. He wants to be a hero, uh, so I think what we're going to do is, I've played all of the quest chains in this game in terms of the guilds and the main quest line, uh, but I know there's a few quest mods that I've installed. If you guys really want um, to know what exactly mods I've installed, I can always link them to you, but... Um, I don't really care to do that right now, so let me know, and if you want to, I can definitely do that. Um, Alright, this is the important thing. Whoa. But I think what we're going to do is just explore the world and level up that way. And find, you know, we'll run it, we'll make it up as we go, and we'll run into people and do quests based on where we are and who we see. And uh, I'm kind of really into role-playing. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, I think this is like the Sokka. Which is probably what he basically had when we started, but that's fine. Stubble Sokka haircut. Thanks for joining. It's good to play with someone even though you're the internet. Especially because Skyrim isn't really a uh, multiplayer game. I think he just looks fine like this. I like it. He's young, he's ready to prove himself. He's an orc on the run. Uh, we gotta change his name though. Finish name your character, yes. Okay, so. I think we're going to name this young rapscallion Falador. And that uh, is a uh, reference to a good uh, friend of mine's. RP name when we used to run around the hills of the Napa Valley and uh, pretend we were knights and rangers. So anyway, 
let's choose our kit. So this is starting equipment. This is a mod. Uh, so, okay. We're going to play with no HUD at all. So I'm not going to know how much health I have, how much stamina I have, how much magic I have. Because of that, and there's no aimer, there's no compass, there's nothing. Straight up RP. And because of that, I don't think I'm going to do bows. Uh, also, if I did bows, I kind of just find stuff and do target practice and see how far away I can get and still hit something. So I'd probably be doing that for hours, and we don't want to watch me do that. We, uh, we want to play the game. And I can get distracted easily. So I think we're going to do sword and shield because that's the most, you know, I feel safe with the shield. Uh, because we're not going to know how much health we have. Uh, and then maybe some magic just to get some range. So I think starting with a shield is probably going to be the best thing to do. So I think combat, alright? So Crusader sounds like we have some magic. And Knight sounds like we have some defense. So, I think one of these would be the best. Um, I don't really want to do holy magic so much as destruction, so let's just go knight. Of noble birth, or distinguished in battle. Probably that, because we're an orc from High Rock. Knights are civilized warriors, schooled in letters and courtesy. Oh, so we're a very polite orc. Governed by the codes of chivalry, in addition to the arts of war, knights study the lore of healing and enchantment. Well, that sounds exactly like a crusader. Let's see what the Crusader is all about. Heavily armored warrior spell casting powers. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Crusaders do well by doing good. They hunt monsters and villains. Perfect, because that's all we're doing. Making themselves rich. This is what we want. We are an Orcish Crusader proving his worth in the Orcish community. Uh, this is day one, minute one. So we're going to be extremely underpowered. Which is fine in Skyrim, unless you're playing like we are. And totally role-playing. Am I a... Stormcloak? Uh... Okay. That's fine. So, why'd you join the Stormcloaks? Before I so it looks like I'm a Stormcloak. But, uh... Oh, that changed quickly. This war has drastically, um... Changed. It's much too political. It's not my fight. Today is the day that this orc leaves the Stormcloaks and never again returns. But I will always consider myself a Stormcloak at heart, and I will fight for their cause. Wait a second. Is this who I think it is? If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Ulfric! So I'm part of the party. <laughs> That grabbed Ulfric. Oh my god. She's not doing too well. Well, I see the leader. This was my purpose. Uh, deed one of my heroic adventures in questing has been accomplished. I have saved the leader of this movement. Now I'm off on my armored awesome horse. Oh, I stole the horse! That's alright. Fuck you, Stormcloaks. I have put in my time. The adventure begins! Oops, that's not how you jump. Alright, we're getting... I gotta get used to these controls. That's fine. I'll give them their horse. It's, uh, not really mine to take anyway. Oh, my stamina's low. That's good to know. Oh my god, first fight! It's a skiva. Got it. Not a problem. That's a problem. Okay, well, we're coming in hot. And I'm out of stamina. So we just gotta make it to the guards in white run. This is a hell of an opening. I did not think there was gonna be a troll five feet away from. Oh my god, skeletons! These are the mods, I think. Oh, maybe they'll fight the- Oh, no! Go, go, go! Use the terrain! All we need to do is get to that guard. Oh, man. Death is coming for us. Uh, did we outrun them? I think we did. Holy lord. Well, nobody said it was going to be easy. Uh 
Let's see what kind of magic we have. Any restoration? We do. And destruction? What do we have? Flames? Okay. Perfect. That's all I want. Perfect. Don't know how much I'm healing for, but... We know it's getting the job done. Alright, we need to also put... Sorry, this is the boring part. Give me one sec. Alright, we're back in White Run, and now I have my flames equipped. Good for burning. And uh, we'll just flip between the shield and the flames here. It'd be kind of a, uh, a spell sword with a little extra oomph. Um, so yeah, finally. Look at this. We're here. We're back in Skyrim. I don't really want to go to White Run. I don't have any, uh, I don't have any quests in there that I want to do. I don't have any things to sell. I need to go and make a name for myself. And I'm not going to do that in White Run. I'm going to do that out there in the mountains. Um, so, this is what we're looking at Riften and Windhelm to the, to the left, Solitude and Markarth to the right. Okay, so I know that there are Orkin brethren in the Markarth area, and proving myself by defeating the Forsworn and becoming the King of the Forsworn might be a good way to begin my quest. So I think onward towards Markarth and Solitude. Onward towards the Forsworn and my Orcish brothers. Because as you can see, I'm an orc. Pretty under uh, equip. But uh, I'm feeling like we'll find some good stuff in these forests. Now, we don't want to stick completely to the road. Because there's adventures to be had in the wilderness. Oh, and we've ran into something. The music has cued me into a battle. Here. Oh, the storm cloaks. I hope I'm not wanted by them. It's fine. It's fine. Carry on, brothers. Kind of like the rogue storm cloak. But I'm using my powers for good, not for evil. Man fights mud crab. Whoa! A bandit who just had to kill a mud crab is now risking his life to best me. Oh. Just fought before. How about a little fire? Oh. Yes! There we go. Keep him at a distance. Burn! Alright, kill cam and everything. Take that. I don't think we need to hide. I don't have any gloves. Well, let's put those bad boys on. Oh, great! Look at that glove! I'll keep my burning hand warm. We'll just get the shield back out. What was that guy's problem? Like, your life, like, cum cumulated till a moment where you went by a dirty creek and killed a crab and then had to attack on sight. Oh my god, there's a job. First, I gotta deal with the skeever. There we go. Oh, one shot. Alright. Whoa! Is that a Thalmor? I'm trying to take out a giant? Or what is he doing? I really don't want to pick a fight with a Thalmor. Perhaps they'll be uh, open to uh, move along. Talking. Who are you? I am a Thalmor Justiciar on important business that you are interfering with. What are you doing in Skyrim? Making sure your emperor wasn't lying to his elven masters when he agreed the empire would give up false gods and foolish beliefs. Now go away. 
What a jerk! How are you making sure your empire, your emperor, isn't lying by just walking around the grass? You fools. So, the frame rate isn't as great as it usually is because I'm recording, and I don't think I saw that as a uh, something that was going to happen. So, you know, I might tweak the settings so the next video it might run a little smoother, but I think it's this grass mod, so once we get out of the grass, I'm sure it'll start running a little better. But it still runs fine. And look how beautiful it is. It's too bad it's like an overcast day. Uh, I think I have a mod that makes the weather realistic, so when the clouds part, we'll get a lot more sunshine. Oh, drunken men. An orc loves a good drink. Hey, friend. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Hunting brew mead? Never had a taste of sweet hunting brew? Why, it's only the finest mead outside of Sovngarde. Its sweetness is like a fair maiden's kiss on a starry night. Yeah, I don't know how many fair maidens these the guys have kissed. <laughs> but enough talk. Come, won't you share a drink with me? And I'll take friends? a little drink. I think. Ah, my orc like doesn't realize how cold it's going to be well, in Skyrim, and ever since he got here, Cheers, it's been a little, uh, May your adventures find you fame and fortune. it's been a little chilly. You know, a little mead might warm up, warm him up. Well, big game. Come on, who's talking? Sounds like an orc to me. Whoa, what are we sneaking up on? Good lord. There's always something going on. Is this Dragonborn and other Dragonborn? I feel like they're about to sneak up on that, uh, that deer. Or they're just total weirdos. There will be a feast in our honor when we return. From where? Get away. The scent of victory is on the wind. Uh, this is my kind of orc. See, we just have it in our blood. We just want to explore. And, uh,. Adventure, but they're going at it a little too slow, I think. Uh, I mean, better safe than sorry, I guess, but that's a little much. That's a little much. Um, so I guess there's another mod I have that just... There's a bunch of adventurers like myself doing their own quests, having their own AI. They, like, go into caves and try to get loot and stuff, like this guy, I'm sure is uh one of those adventurers yes uh well there's a giant see that's the fun thing about mods uh i've purposely layered on way too many because when things glitch in skyrim that's one of the funnest things ever so hopefully we get to see a few of those get to see a few of those in action oh, i thought this was a stone but it looks like it's a cave I'm extremely hesitant to do anything like this at level one um, because I'm so weak. But uh, you know, why the hell not? Uh, if it proves to be too difficult, I can always exit, and we can mark it on our map as a place in which we can come back when we're feeling a little bit more machissimo. Uh, but for now, you know, you got to get your feet wet. You got to get started. You got to get. Spelunking, cave exploring. We gotta make it happen. How am I gonna get fat loots if I don't do this? If I don't take the plunge? So here we go. Cave one. So far, so good. What? Alright, that's a lot. But you know what? I think they're weak to fire. So that's what we're gonna do. The undead shall be scorched with the holy flames of orcish might. 